Hi and welcome back to the countertop and today I'm doing chicken chicken masala on the sous vide by Lisa Fetterman. <laughs> Hi and welcome back. And the recipe I'm doing today is from this book, Sous Vide at Home by Lisa Fetterman. Uh, you probably know her from her company actually, which is Nomiko, which was the first company to sell home uh, sous vide devices. And the recipe we're doing today, it's uh, chicken chicken masala on the sous vide. So the main difference for you to do these on the sous vide versus doing these on the stove it's pretty much because the, the liquid and the sauce doesn't dry out because you're doing it in the pot, uh, you are able to let this cook and concentrate really, out, really well all the flavors instead of keep adding like trying to fix the flavors during the cooking. All right, so let's go for the ingredients. So here's all the ingredients that we need for our recipe today. So you're gonna need one tablespoon of sugar, Two tablespoons of curry powder, if you have the madras powder, it tends to have more intensity on the flavor. One and a half teaspoon of kosher salt, 900 grams of chicken breast, boneless and skinless, you're gonna cut these in half inch cubes. Two tablespoons of canola oil, three tablespoons of unsalted butter, one shallot, we're gonna mince that. One tablespoon of peel uh, and minced uh, ginger, three garlic cloves also minced. You're also gonna need one and a half cup of tomato puree, one teaspoon of honey, one teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of ground turmeric, half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of coriander, half teaspoon of cayenne. You're also gonna need one cup of whole milk uh, Greek yogurt plain. And in the end, you might need, gonna need some cilantro and some rice to do the garnishing and to do the side. All right, so let's start doing. The first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna put in a larger bowl, half of your curry powder, all your paprika, and all your salt. And then you're gonna mix this and start like throwing the, the chicken here pretty much to create like a coat over the chicken with this um, powder mixture, pretty much doing like almost like a rub. Now that you have your chicken pretty much like into this uh, rub, uh, I also already turn on my sous vide, uh, my water bath on the sous vide for 60 degrees Celsius. And now let's do like a small searing on these chickens before we continue. So like already heat my pan here. I'm gonna put half of our oil here, let this heat and start doing that. Now that you pretty much sear your chicken, you don't need to worry about cooking the chicken because we're gonna do this on the sous vide. I, I just pretty much like a, a light sear on the both sides, one minute on each side, so just to have like some light browning. Stove to medium low. You're gonna add your butter, your the rest of your oil, your ginger, your shallots, and your garlic. And immediately, you get your wooden spoon and start scoring here to release all the things that are in the bottom. And you're gonna cook these until the shallots are pretty much like super transparent, like three minutes or so. And then you're gonna continue. Now that our shallots uh, had pretty much softened and reduced somehow, you're gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients. So the first thing you add your tomato puree, you also add your honey and the rest of the spices that we are using. And you're just gonna mix this and do like a light simmer and then turn off your stove and add your yogurt. Let's do a quick recap here pretty much before we put this into the sous vide. So the first thing we pretty much sear the chicken so we can have like more like intense on the flavor, concentrate a little bit the flavor and pretty much cook the shallots, the ginger and the garlic and then throw away here really quickly the tomato and the yogurt. And now it's time for us to use our uh, gallon freezer bag. Uh, you can also do in vacuum if you have a vacuum machine but this is works perfectly. So the first thing you're gonna put all your chicken here don't forget also to put all the 
liquids. So now after putting all the chicken, it's time for you to put the sauce. And after that, it's time for us to seal the bag. So since we don't have a vacuum or even if you have a vacuum, the easiest way is to use uh, your corner on your countertop, uh, taking really care and holding your bag from the bottom because it's quite heavy and pretty much put the liquid in one side and push on the other side and then seal the bag so the bag doesn't have any air as you can see. So now after I seal the bag, I put here in the sous vide. Now, now this is going to be cooking for something in between two to five hours. So uh, that's the good thing on sous vide. So you can keep cooking. You have like a nice uh, time window. So that allows you to plan ahead. So the moment you put here, you have pretty much five hours to do whatever you want. So if it's in a weekend, you can go do whatever you want outside home. And then when you come back, you have your lunch ready or maybe your dinner ready, whatever you want. All right, be right back. After two hours, here's our chicken masala. So let's see how it goes. I also like made some rice so we can try. It smells good. So let's try just the chicken with a little bit of the sauce. I have to say this is really good. The smooth of the flavors because like was so slow cook. Things like this was cooking like for six to seven hours so it's really good uh, of course i put some rice here so we can try with the rice too but the chicken itself that's what impressed me it's so so tender and so juicy at the same time it's so good really good also i think because of the sous vide the chicken achieves like one unique texture that is so clear to the sous vide that normally when you do any kind of meat so yeah it's really good okay guys thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to tell your friends to watch to subscribe to comment and all those things uh, i hope you enjoy it and see you next time bye